All right, everybody. So I've been receiving a lot of messages. I'm being hounded on Instagram uh, by my email and in the comment section. Uh, so my past videos on what did I score on step one. And uh, so originally um, I didn't want to show my score because it is a source of such stress and anxiety for so many medical students. I actually got my score pretty early, way earlier than I expected. And a lot of students didn't get their score until way later. I know a lot of students barely recently got their score, maybe like last week or the week before. And if you go on Twitter, there's like two schools of thought. Either you're really happy with your score or the students are completely devastated. And part of that is because they didn't reach their goal score. And step one is one of those metrics that uh, historically, you know, residencies have looked at to see if you're good enough to pursue certain specialties. And that is the reason that causes so much anxiety for students. If they don't reach the score that they want, they think that their chances of getting into a residency program that they in the type of medicine that they want to practice for the rest of their lives, their whole entire careers, everything they've worked up to. Sometimes, you know, people think it boils down to this one step one score. And I didn't want to share my score because so many students uh, compare themselves to one another. You know, it is competitive still, you know, medical school, you're still competing against every other student for certain residency spots if it's the same medicine that you want to do and they want to do. So yes, there is always a level of competition and that is why medical school is so freaking hard because on top of all the information that you're trying to learn and everything else, you're still kind of competing um, even with some of your friends sometimes. So people don't share their step one scores very often and I completely understand why. And you know, people have been calling me in the messages they say you know you're not being authentic you're not sharing with your uh, fans you know when you sign when you started your YouTube channel you signed up to share all your scores etc etc and this was the one time I said no I'm not gonna share that um, you know I told you guys I reached my goal score which I'm re incredibly happy for uh, you know I two years of Anki every single day you know, thousands of practice questions, so many late nights, early mornings, um, that repeated year of medical school really freaking, you know, it, it really dragged on me. Uh, yeah, so that really dragged on me and I didn't want other medical students to compare themselves to my score because we are completely different people. Um, the way we're going to practice medicine in the future is going to be completely different. You know, a lot of students are, you know, we're going to be in the same residence or whatever. But the kind of doctors we all become is so different. Um, and no, a step one score does not dictate how good of a physician you're going to be. It just dictates how well you were able to absorb two years of medical information and regurgitate it on an exam with questions that are created with the intent to trick you. So, no, um, I decided not to share my score. Uh, I'm not going to share my score. And I'm more than a step one score. Every other medical student is way more than a step one score. You guys don't understand all of the experiences and you know all the other work and hardships that medical students go through to pursue this career that you give so much to and I know a lot of other careers you give a lot to as well but medicine is special like we're literally paying to go to work right now like as a medical student we're paying to go learn how to manage the health and diagnose and treat and take care of people um, and it's just such a unique field um, and I love it. I wouldn't say I want it any other way. You know, I love being here. I fell in love with medicine again now that I'm in clinical years. You know, neurology is probably not what I'm going to pursue. I did neurology clerkship. 
I got my score back today. I passed my first clerkship. And, you know, the three years of medical school that I had prior to this, I kind of lost the spark of why I wanted to be a physician. And then that first week, actually seeing patients, doing physical exams, diagnosing, uh, treating them, thinking about what could go wrong, what went right, like what you could have done better. That's medicine and it's all, it's called the practice of medicine because you're supposed to always be improving. And yeah, I fell in love with medicine again. I've been really enjoying my times and clerkships. I'm currently on OBGYN. Um, I'm doing maternal fetal medicine, which has been actually really, really cool. It's treating high risk pregnancies, um, you know, managing them. And I'm having a great time and I'm loving it. So I'm more than a step one score. Every medical student is way more than a step one score. The research, the extracurriculars, the way they interact with patients, their leadership activities. That's all. I just, uh, you know, I got a lot of message saying I wasn't being authentic. And I'm not gonna lie, when I got my score, it was kind of anticlimactic. When I, when I did step one, when I went in for the exam and I finished, it just felt like I was doing another another full day of questions because that's what I've been doing for two months before. You know, just straight practice questions. So it was very anticlimactic. I didn't get too emotional over it. You know, I just, I kind of get emotional about it a little bit now more like after the fact, just because I look back and I realize that you know, all the hard work I put in really actually paid off. Uh, and I know for some medical students it doesn't because that day was just a bad day of practice questions for them, you know? Like I had multiple days in my step studying where I just had terrible days. And if a student had a terrible day on the actual step one, even though they're incredibly intelligent people and they get the score they want, you know, a lot of people try to define you by that one step one score and you know, now that step one, I actually got a score, but now step one is pass fail. Residencies are going to try and be more holistic. I do think they're going to be looking at step two a lot more now too. So I feel like I really have to grind also for that test now because they're kind of going to use us as the guinea pigs on using that for the next class because they're not going to have step one. So those are my thoughts on step one. That's why I didn't share my actual score and that's why I'm not going to. I will share what kind of residency I go into and stuff, but I don't have to share my, my scores with you guys. Uh, a lot of you guys have been very supportive over the years. You know, I shared that I had to repeat the year of medical school. That was the toughest, that was my lowest point in life. And it wasn't that bad. An amazing support system. A lot of you on here supported me. And yeah, thank you all. Uh, we'll see if I start vlogging a little bit more. I've been wanting to, but I've just been really enjoying clerkships. I've been enjoying seeing patients, examining them, learning how to take care of people. That's what I came to medical school for. So I've been loving it. Uh, thank you all so much for your support. I'm going to go review some charts now, actually, that I have to do for the morning. Thanks.